Metal Hands. Metal Hands TV. <laughs> oh, well, I go to the interview in the floor. So, <laughs> this is real luxury. <laughs> Hello Metalheads, we are once again at the MTC in the basement and with me are girls of Stonefield. Thanks for having me after the show. Uh, thanks for uh, waiting for us <laughs> after the show. Cool. We had a date earlier this evening, but um, it was a really great show. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed great. it as much as I am. Yeah, no, we did. It was an awesome show. Good crowd, good yeah, energy. It was, really fun. it was hot and sweaty. And the first band, um, Electric Citizen, really like set the mood, I yeah. feel. It yeah. was, yeah, it was really good. Sick. And to be honest, uh, I didn't know you before. It was just a Facebook recommendation and yeah, I liked it. So <laughs> <laughs> perhaps you could uh, introduce you to our audience and explain what kind of music you are making. Cool. Uh, um, yeah, I guess we're sort of a mix of heavy stoner psych rock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's all? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could just say rock, and that kind of covers well, all yeah, bases, true. maybe. But then whenever yeah. you say that, yeah. people rock like so rock. Yeah, exactly. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's, the <laughs> That's the point. That's the point. Like, rock yeah. is broad, so you can kind of, like, it covers, like, the stoner aspect, the psychedelic aspects. You can kind of branch out, I guess. It doesn't limit you as much. Okay, I listened to you the first time and um, it has to me a um, dark 70s appeal. Yeah. So. That could um, probably be a more simple way of saying it. Yeah. Dark <laughs> 70s. Okay, perhaps so. well, that's why my English isn't so good and I put it simple. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, um, what are your influences? Are there any bands that you say, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely. So, I mean, I guess Sabbath is a, obviously a massive one. Um, we like grew up and started music um, and our writing from listening to our parents' record collection, which was lots of 70s stuff. All the classics, Zeppelin, Hendrix, Zappa, The Doors, Pink Floyd, Dire Straits, stuff like that. Um Yeah, now nowadays, like we still love listening to all that stuff, but like Dead Meadow, Uncle Acid, Big, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, heaps. It's hard to narrow it down. Um, yeah. Okay, you mentioned The Doors, one of my favorite bands. Oh, really? Perhaps each of you can name her favorite song of the doors my ringtone on my phone is soul kitchen soul kitchen yeah, yeah. Ooh, so i guess uh, that, oh that's really hard um ooh. we're not good at being put on the spot i don't know <laughs> i like i'm st i have break on through to, it's stuck in my head and this is the end stuck in my head i really like this is the end do, do, do. yeah that song's I, i really can't decide yeah that's decide. fine that's Ooh, fine I feel, like, <laughs> i feel like it changes depending on what mood you're in really okay in what mood you're now now i'm kind of well i was the same thing i was like break on through to the other side but now i feel like the end is quite appropriate because it's like a come down after yeah, a show nice. and it's kind of like sad and it's dark because like your night's over and now we're gonna go into like depressing van mode <laughs> tomorrow and like just be sleeping and bored until the show tomorrow so yeah i reckon that one <laughs> Okay, you had time now so <laughs> <laughs> i hate being put on the spot but agree with everything And yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, you watched the movie of Oliver Stone with Val Kilmer. Yeah, yeah. You liked cool. it? Um. Yeah, I did like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. It's 
like different, but it's cool. He, I, I think he did a good job, actually. What did you think? Yep, yeah, I like the movie. Yeah. Really. Yeah, it was cool. Um, it's a nice like insight into how freaking insane but interesting he is. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, do you sometimes regret not living in the 70s and <laughs> all experiencing the vibes and the music? I mean, yeah, it would have been an amazing time to grow up in, but um, I don't know. I feel like there's probably pros and cons to it. Like, I feel like today's society is probably a lot more... A woke, yeah. you know. Okay. It would have been harder to be our band in the seventies, I think, to be a band of four women. Like, I think there would have been a lot more challenges than what we face today. But at the same time, it's the seventies, so it would have been pretty cool. But um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think today it's more easy to, for a woman to be in the music music industry, and a guy who wants us back. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and uh, unusual it's to, to be on tour without a new record. Your record will come out on 14th of June. Yeah. It's called Band. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us about it? Uh, it's definitely our darkest, heavy, eerie. It's definitely eerie, I would say. Yeah. It's I'd say eerie is a better word to describe because there's moments where it's not so much heavy but more like sad and eerie kind of vibe but yeah it's also like <laughs> recorded a lot more sort of raw so we tracked like pretty much everything live um and also really quick like we just went into the studio really prepared <clears throat> just kind of smashed it out and then like i did the vocals over the top and then we did a few overdubs but nothing really too dramatic um yeah and it's i guess like a fair bit more synth based um, but not in like a synth way. It's like still very guitar-y, but um, yeah, I don't know. I guess <laughs> that. <laughs> okay. Um, and it's very unusual that the drummer is doing the lead vocals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How, <laughs> how came you up with that? Um, I don't know. I just did it. I guess I... Well, a drum kit was the first instrument that we got gifted for Christmas one year. And I guess because I'm the oldest, I got first dibs on it. And I also could get lessons at school. Um, and we all before that sang, but I guess I was the most passionate about it. So it just kind of ended up that I was singing and drumming. I don't know. I just <laughs> did it from the get go. So you're the oldest. I got the right. Yeah. <laughs> you're the boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, how is it to be um, with family on tour? Four sisters and. Are there any fights? Always. Oh, <laughs> there are definitely fights. It is really annoying at times, but also really good most of the time. So. I don't, I don't know. I feel like at the end of the day, it's probably better that we are family because yeah. if we fought the way we did and we weren't family, we probably wouldn't be a band. Definitely couldn't tour for two months without being sisters. Like, I would struggle a lot. But, um, yeah, I would say it's, like, mostly a positive thing. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I've got two brothers. I can't imagine doing this, so... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What are your parents thinking, thinking of this? All you, of you four doing this stuff <laughs> and being abroad in Europe and... Um, they're really, really proud and stoked for us. They definitely just encourage us to do whatever we want to do. So, yeah, they're really happy. They message us a lot, which is, I guess, what parents do. Um, but, yeah, they're really happy for us. I th I'd, I'd really like for them to see like what we actually do every day because I feel I like they'd be shocked at like how hard it is to tour. I think yeah, they'd I th I think so. I reckon they'd be like, what the hell are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> If they really were here, they'd probably be like, 
giving us money like <laughs> take it like <laughs> to help us because it's a struggle but yeah <laughs> i've seen your um it's not a nightliner over the street uh, it's a van you're traveling with so it's not really a rock and roll glam rock star life you're living it's no. really hard work it is, it is hard, really hard yeah but fun it's yeah a lot of fun. it's fun Okay, so what you're doing next? Um, well, I guess this album's coming out, so that's kind of, yeah, just working on like video clips and stuff like that. Um, we're going home and then doing a tour there. And then we're going to America and doing a tour with King Gizzard um, over there, supporting them in some nice big rooms, like Greek Theatre, um, Central Park. Central Park. It's going to be amazing. Um, after that, I'm sure we'll be back here sometime soon, hopefully. Um, and yeah, just riding on the, working on the next one in between all of that somewhere. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And I got a sign, the time is running and <laughs> you've got a hotel to catch tonight. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank awesome you. show and hope to see you soon again. And Any last words for our audience? Um, no, just to you. Sorry, we missed the first interview. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Any last words from you? Huh? You said so, so less. <laughs> I always say very little. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. And check it out. Stonefield. <laughs> Metalhead, Metalhead TV. <laughs>